sisters, brothers, siblings in the Episcopal Church in Northern Indiana. Grace and peace be with you and Jesus, the risen Christ. Hello, friends. I'm here with our former presiding bishop, Catherine Jefford Shorey. We've just concluded our annual clergy retreat here at the Linda Wood Conference Center. And our focus these last few days has been on the, the experience of grief and lament, both our personal grief experience, uh, our communal grief and lament experience, and particularly how we engage to sort of begin to think about retelling the story about how creation and our mourning and grief and lament over the creation that God has entrusted to our care. Uh, Bishop Catherine, again, thank you for your presence with us. It's great to welcome you back here to our diocese. Um, and just want to offer you an opportunity to think, to sort of re reflect with us about your experience of our time together here today. It's been a remarkable gift to be here and to have a sense of the health of this community. Um, deeply engaged clergy who like each other, um, who work together. Uh, that's absolutely essential to a healthy church across the diocese, and it's happening. Um, you, you can see it in the people's uh, the clergy's excitement to be with one another. Uh, they, they need colleagues. And there's plenty to grieve in the a aftermath um, and the ongoing reality of this pandemic. Uh, people are being really creative about how to address the restrictions. Uh, I think that's necessary. That's, uh, I'm convinced that being creative is part of what it means to be made in the image of God. Mm -hmm. And when we live that out, we become uh, gospelers, <laughs> evangelists. Uh, your leadership has been a real gift in this place. Uh, clarity, incredibly deep clarity about what you were doing. Um, a sense of compassion for the past, the wounds that are still with us, um, your, your sabbatical ideas, um, the way you gather people together to do creative work on behalf of God's kingdom. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it, again, we've, we've worked with one another in, in the wider church in a variety of ways, but it's been a blessing to just share this time with you and the gift of your time with our clergy here is just an, Im an immense privilege. And thank you for taking the time to do that. I know you've got a lot of things on your schedule. You're heading back to Nevada to participate in the election of, of a new bishop there. So uh, know that you remain in our prayer and God's feet in your travels. And you will be in mind. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Blessings to you, my friends. We'll see you down the road. <laughs>